everyone, it's Sarah Satch with Posh Pooch Designs, and it's time for our live video chat. Welcome to my crochet channel. Like I said, this is Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Now today is our first, my hat keeps slipping back. <laughs> This is our first live video chat of 2018, and I've got a question I'm going to answer. Good morning, Michelle. I see you there. Clink in. I've got the big cup today because it's freezing outside, and I needed a big cup of coffee. And my super hat keeps slipping off the back of my head. I guess my head's bigger than I anticipated. <laughs> so anyway, this is our live video chat. And I have a question to answer, and then I'm going to talk about all the new things happening and all the new things we're planning and hoping to happen <laughs> for 2018. And I'm very, very excited. So grab your coffee and we'll get started. Now, the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is I got a question, and this was actually from another pattern designer. And, um, but it, it works for everyone. Um, good morning, Vicki. Glad to see you here. Clink in. Now, the question she asked me is, my 20, I keep hitting my elbow on something because I've got some I'm going to show you. The question she asked me was, my 2017 was just crazy unorganized. How can I be more organized for 2018? And I've got three simple things that you can do. I'm going to move this over here. My hat won't stay on, so I'm just going to let it fall to the back. It keeps sliding off my big old head. All right, so I want to show you something here. Now, what I have here is a tray that I purchased at Walmart. If I lean it forward, my things will slide off. But you can see it fits yarn and other things. And I think it was about $7.00. And the first thing I want to tell you about being organized is you need a happy place. You need a place where you can go and sit and think, where you can peruse Pinterest for ideas, and a, a place where you can be quiet, grab your cup of coffee, and go somewhere. Now, because we don't all have a craft room or a yarn room, our happy place may just be where our stuff is. And so I thought this was a great tray to purchase. It was about $7, I want to say like $6.97 or something, at my local Walmart. It's just plastic, and I can take it with me. I can go out on my back deck. I can take it with me in the car, and I've got a surface to work on, a place to put some yarn on this side and a place to put some hooks and scissors and pins on this side and I thought it was a great idea for me and I thought I would share it with you if you have a room or a spot in your house that is your happy place sometimes your happy place is where your yarn is and your hooks <laughs> so anyway you need to find a happy place where you can go and think like I said peruse the internet for ideas and thoughts and patterns now, the second thing that you need to get or you need to have is what I call a calendar, but it's a calendar you can write on. And this one's already all written on. I don't want to show it all to you because those are all my ideas. And it's really cool because you can write on every page. And I purchased this at Walmart. And this is my one from last year. You can see it's written in, it's scribbled in. And what I do, let me just show you. Here's January from last year. I write on it in black, and then when I change things and change my mind, I write in it in red. And you know what? I purchased this. I think I just said Walmart. I actually purchased this at the Dollar Tree for one buckaroony. And it's a great idea to have, and you can keep it on your tray or in your happy place so that you can write down, okay, so next week I want to start this, and this is the yarns I need. Or here's the pattern link or who the pattern designer is or whatever you want to write on there to help you stay scheduled. Now as a pattern designer and a blogger and everything else, I write those in there as well. And I make a, my monthly plans ahead of time and you can see I change them a lot as well. <laughs> so this is a really great tool. A calendar that you can write on 
and a couple of pins. All right, so that's my second piece of advice. Have a happy place and a calendar you can write on. The third piece of advice is to have a notebook that you can write down your thoughts and ideas in that might take a little more space than just that little square on your calendar. I pick up these books, these uh, composition notebooks in the uh, fall, like end of July, when they all go on sale for like 29 cents and I get about 10 of them. I don't always use them, but they're nice to have around for jotting down notes. And I'll do that, I'll keep a pen and I'll jot down notes. Now this is a new one. If you notice, it says back to crochet basics and we're gonna be talking about that as well. And what I'll do is like, I'm gonna be doing a couple different series. And so I'll write my notes and ideas in this composition notebook that takes a lot longer space. And I might write the date on my calendar where I'm planning on doing that, but it just gives me a way of keeping track. Now, another thing that I do is after I get all this stuff written down, because I'm old school, I like to write it down and I like to keep track of it. Once I do that, then I'll go to my computer in my um, uh, Outlook on that calendar, and then I'll just type a few notes and kind of my own little shorthand that I use that remind me of what I'm doing, and then it will pop up there as well. So basically, my hints for three hints or three tips on staying organized is to find a happy place. And if you don't have a room where you can do that, get you something like this, very inexpensive, to have a happy place where you can sit and think and get organized. Purchase a $1 calendar at your Dollar Tree or your Dollar Store that you can write on, and then a tablet with some pens. And I, like I said, I use a black or a blue, and then I correct and change in red. You can use a pencil and erase. I just found that I change so much that when I erase, I make holes in my calendar because <laughs> I'm always changing my mind. So that's kind of a little bit of a help to help you stay organized. And if you get a jump on it right now, since this is the 2nd of January, you'll be ahead of the ball game. All right, let me take this off the table. And then I want to talk to you a little bit about what is going to be happening at Posh Pooch Designs for 2018. I am very, very excited. I've got a lot of plans. <clears throat> Sharon, I didn't see you pop in. Clink in. And like I said, I've got my big cup today because it is freezing. I think they said it was nine degrees here in Parker where I live. And that's cold. One nice thing about living here is it's a dry cold, not a wet cold. You know, some of the places where it's humor, humor, <laughs> some of the places where it's humid, your snow and your air is more wet and there's a lot more moisture in the snow. We get a lot of fluffy snow and I, I like that. I love the snow. They're fantastic at clearing the roads. I've never been stranded, so I don't have any complaints about that. All right, so there's going to be several changes and new things happening. Now, we finished up our 12 6-inch squares where we did a crochet square 6-inch each month. And I'm going to show you today. I haven't been telling you because I didn't want you to know what it was. Good morning, Karen. Thanks for popping in. Clink. So anyway, I haven't told you, I've kept it a mystery about what our project is for our 12 squares. Now, you don't have to use any of the squares that I designed. You can use any 12 squares that you want. And let me grab you, grab you, let me grab it and show you what we're going to be making. We're going to be making, are you ready? Dun, da, 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 ba, ba, ba. This big old project bag and I'm going to do two videos I'm going to show you how to assemble your squares and make it into a nice big bag and then the next video I'm going to show you how to line your bag so you don't lose all your goodies out of your bag and it's gonna be a lot of fun and it's very inexpensive to do um, all you need of course is one skein of yarn that you want to be your your color for your top and bottom and handles and then, you'll, then I'll explain to you what you need for the inside when we get there, but it's gonna be super inexpensive and you're gonna love this great big bag. As you can see, I'm already using mine. <laughs> so that's going to be our project that we're going to do. And I'm, uh, it's just, yeah, big old granny square 
project bag so you can take your stuff with you and because it's lined we won't lose our goodies all right so that's one thing that we're going to do well since we finished our six inch square crochet along year-long crochet along I've got another one planned but it's not squares this year what we're going to do and this one I'm going to show you um, our test one that we've got done and what this is is a blanket and every month we're going to do a different stitch now this one is the is a smaller one um, and we whipped it up so that we could see how it's going to work because it's going to be set on a certain amount of stitches and so we need to make sure that all the different types of stitches will work into that stitch and we're still in testing phases for it and you can be looking for the first part of this one um, probably the last week of January and so basically what we'll do is we'll start it together and then each month I like to do them on the first Monday of every month but I think I might this year do them on the third I haven't decided yet because of some of the other things that we're going to be doing so be looking for this but we'll get you foundation started and then each month we'll stitch a new style of a stitch and you can decide how many roses roses how many rows <laughs> that you would like to do and then each month will continue until the whole year is done so you'll be learning a new stitch and make a blanket at the same time and you know what I need some help naming this so I wrote it down and I called it the um, let's see if I can remember what I said the striped colorful I've totally forgot let me look on my piece of paper okay it's called the striped colorful sample blanket I don't think that's a very good name so I want you all to take a good look at this you can see it has all sample stitches and maybe you can help me with a name before we start it all right so let's backtrack just a little bit we finished our granny square of the month year-long crochet along and this is our project we're gonna do the bag and then I'm going to show you how to line it as well in two videos. Then we're going to start this new one, which is going to be more like stitch of the month than um, crochet along. But it is going to be a year long crochet along and we'll do one section of it each, uh, each month. Okay, so then what happens to the rest of what we usually do? We're still going to have our live video chat every Tuesday because we really enjoy it and it's a lot of fun. Good morning, Misty and Missy. Don't forget to clink in. Clink, clink, clink. Okay. Now, we are still going to be doing a lot of new tutorials. But I'm also going to be going back and some of the ones that we did um, when we first started in our old way, I'm going to be updating some of those patterns and doing some new videos on those as well. So we will have lots of new video tutorials. So we'll still have that. We'll still have our live video chat. We'll still have a crochet along each month. And then the new thing that I'm very, very excited about is um, I, I had a lot of people ask me because they like my style. I I know I don't do things in the traditional manner. I sort of just um, teach what I've learned. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start a series. It's going to be 12 videos to begin with. And if there's more, I may do more. But right now I have written out seven uh, lesson plans for seven videos. Seven. I have written out 12 lesson plans for 12 <laughs> videos. And what they're going to be is it's going to be called Back to Crochet Basics. And we're going to go all the way back to the very beginning of slip knots and chains. And it's going to be a lot of fun because it's going to, and the way we're going to, I'm going to do it and the way I've kind of got it written up is that we're going to learn all the new stuff and all the basic stuff. And then each month, it's, I think I'm going to do it every two weeks. I haven't quite decided because I don't want to go too fast, but I don't want to go too slow. So I'm going to kind of see how it goes. But what we'll do is we'll learn some new things and then there'll be a project on each one of those videos of something that you can do and practice what you learned. And um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And that way, if you're already a crocheter and already understand a lot of things, then you'll just have a new um, pattern to do. 
But if you're just learning, it'll give you something to practice. And so I think that's going to be fun. And I'm going to try to incorporate um, understanding a little bit about uh, pattern uh, reading and label understanding uh, p yarn labels and things like that kind of incorporate a lot of those things now I'm going to try to keep those videos between 15 and 20 minutes because I don't want them to be too long and that way if you have to rewatch them you're not rewatching like an hour video and so that's kind of good morning Debbie I didn't see you pop in clink clink so anyway <clears throat> just to recap what we're going to be doing, we will still have lots of new video tutorials and old video tutorials that we'll be updating. We're still going to have our live video every week on Tuesdays, 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. We're going to be starting our new year-long crochet along with a stitch of the month that we will be adding to a blanket. And then we're, we'll have our new series back to crochet basics so that's kind of in a nutshell what we're going to be doing for 2018 now that doesn't mean like you saw on my calendar that doesn't mean I'm not gonna make a bunch of changes Of course here's last year's calendar and you can see I wrote a lot of black and then I changed it and made a lot of red and that's what I do when I change things because sometimes I get an extra question or sometimes I get something that someone wants me to do and I try really hard to do that now also something I wanted to remind you is that I don't do other people's patterns in a pattern tutorial and occasionally I have done my daughter's with her permission because she doesn't do as many uh, videos as she used to. And sometimes we'll get together, my daughter and I, and, I'll, and we'll do a video together. And I have had other people do some of my videos with permission, like Claire um, uh, Sullivan that does uh, Bob Wilson 123. She's done some of mine before I started doing videos. That's totally fine. I've given her permission. But um, occasionally I get people ask me, I'm doing so-and-so designer's pattern. Can you do a video for me? And, and the answer to that is no. And as much as I love doing tutorials and I love all my pattern designer friends, I, we, I don't do their videos. And a lot of them do their own videos. So if you have a question about another pattern designer, whether it's knit or crochet, and you don't understand their pattern, always ask the designer first. And they may have a video that they can help you with or additional pictures. I know um, for me, I don't ever have any problem with someone asking me a question um, about my patterns or about anything. And, and like I always say, if you have a question and I don't know the answer, I will find you an answer. Even if it's just to direct you to another pattern designer that designed that pattern, I will do what I can to help you. Because I love crochet and I love yarn and I want you to also. <laughs> well, my hat fell off because my head was just too big <laughs> for my fancy hat. It won't stay on. But I do want to thank you for being a part of Posh Pooch Designs in this last year. We've learned a lot. We've come a long way and it's been so much fun. So. I want to wish everybody a wonderful, wonderful, blessed, and happy 2018. And thank you for being a part of Posh Pooch Designs. I'll see you next week.